so it's me your little boy k something i have this video to give us you know <laughs> many of us are praying to be successful but we are not ready to work how, how can it be possible yes believe me how do you think that it will be possible for you to be successful when you don't want to work this is the reason why i love my mentor andrew otete who is me whom they arrest uh, early last week you know, they arrest him because sometimes when the world knows that you are too, you are giving out life, you are aspiring others, you are making people, you are giving information to others in order for them to wake up. Nothing else they will do than to find ways to do or to terminate you. You know what I'm saying? When you are trying to make the youth, you know, to, go, to know the difference between the real life and the fake life that the world is giving them. They will not do nothing else than to do or to find a way to do it, to destroy that page. Because most of the people you are seeing today in the world are devil himself. People said, we banned devil, we banned Satan. Humans are devil. God also operates with us. We are God on earth. The same way other people are Satan on earth, devil on earth. You know what I'm saying? This is just the fact. truth. So the truth is this. Many of us want to be successful, but we are not ready to work. We are not ready to do nothing. Some of us will sleep from morning to evening. <laughs> and and we like <laughs> like those days, some of my friends, you know, when I was in my former place, they would see me like this time. I would just carry my basket, go work. 11 o'clock, I will come back. Relax one hour. 10 o'clock, I will come back. Relax one hour. Before that 10 to 11, I would just still move to go and do my, what, my restaurant work. Year 2019. Some of them would be like, Samson, why do you work like this? <laughs> Why? Because I know that there is no mother here, no father, no one to assist you, no brother, no one. So you must do something in order for you to do to to be able to stand on your feet. Because a place where there is no mother, there is no father, you must surely do no something. Some of them will tell me, ah, something. See the money they are paying you. The you don't know that they are cheating you. I know. I, I I'm not blind. I, I have never been blind. <laughs> I know that they are cheating me. I have no choice. I must do it. I pray for the better one because the little beginning may be do what maybe small, but the latter end we do what will expand. I can't fold my hand 24 hours and busy doing nothing. Like those days when I don't have my work, any work. So I would just be walking in the street like this with my phone. You can go and research my, my videos. <laughs> you will even laugh to the extent that you, you, you will forget to eat. If you watch all those my comedy, you know, well, the thing that I use, I, I started up this YouTube with. So the truth is this, you can never be successful when you are busy doing nothing. Even if you pray from here to heaven, you can never, because we are living in a, in a world where if you don't have nothing you are doing with your hand, nothing God will bless. Yes, believe me. <laughs> that is why today now many people want to do so. Everybody is, many people are waking up. That is why I always watch this man called Andre Tete. You know, I always watch him 24 hours. Why? Because if you listen to this man 24 hours, if you listen to him like one week, my brother, your life will be transformed. I'm, I'm not talking about he talk because he, he touch every part of the world. He, he's not. He, he don't base on relationship only. He don't base of motivation. He don't base of Christianity. He don't base of Muslim side. He don't. He, he do what he he tackle everything. And bring it to reality. So what am I trying to say is this, my brothers. Be ready to do something. Because nobody is coming to rescue you. Whether you like it or not. That your brother that you said your uncle is successful. <laughs> your, your auntie is successful. Your, your brother is, is a millionaire. Your father is a millionaire. Believe me. If you are not strong right now. And you are hoping on that money that your father has made. There are many what ch children out there. Whom their father have made a lot of money. Their father have made well wealth, but today many of them are begging. You may not believe it, but go and Google it. We have a lot of Nigeria what billionaires, you know, football players who are who are what in the street. <laughs> Some people say, how, how do you know this coconut head? The truth is this: be aware of, of what of where you are. Be what just be aware whether you are living with your parents right now, you are not living with your parents. The truth is this no one is coming to rescue you. There will be a day that you will call that your uncle, you think that he's so rich. He will tell you that I don't he don't have money, and it's truth. <laughs> he don't have it because each of us have problems we are facing. 
Each of us have something we are talking. You will, you, you, so, some people will say, hey, my, my uncle is so stingy. My uncle is so this. Why can't you just try to work and know what it takes to give out? To give out that money when you have your bill to pay, you have your light bill to pay, you have your rent to pay, you have your car to, f to fill, you have your children's school fees to pay. And after calculating everything, you come to realize that the only money that left with you as a man is just like, let me say 20 euro or 100 euro or 500 euro. And out of this 500 euro, you must every day food. You must be giving your family food. No matter what you, you can't keep them without eating. And some people say they are rich. They don't want to give us. They are rich. They don't want to give us. Become rich so that you can be what the second, so that the family can do something. Because no one up there is coming to do or to rescue you, no matter how you how you beg them. So try to do something, brother. Stop expecting manner to do or to fall. Because the truth is, you can never, even if pastor prophesy, put hand on your head, pray 24 hours for you, deliver you, do this, tell you, raise your hand, raise your shoulder. So, say your father, you know, there's, there's something that they did in Nigeria that was a comedy to me. One man went for um, Pastor Christ, uh, you know, a church like that. That was last two years. So, the man think that as Pastor Chris was praying, that they said, donate anything you have. God is going to open the door. The man donate the family church. <laughs> At the end, the church come and collect the house. They chase the, they chase the family out. <laughs> and breakthrough is not there. He didn't receive any breakthrough. He didn't receive nothing because you can, where, where will God bless? How, what is that thing that God is going to bless? Nothing. When you abuse it doing nothing, God will never bless you because he needs something in order for him to bless you. You know what I'm saying? So remember, bless me. God bless you.